for life. There's lots of um, street entertainers, there's jugglers, there's unicycles, there's people dressed up in silly costumes. There's people selling food and it is really a quite a nice place to relax. Through the Waterloo Road Bridge, we stay to the left. We've got the Queen Elizabeth Halls, the Purcell Rooms. These are two small theatres. Look on the roof of the building and we can see a building made of wood. It looks a bit like the front of a ship. Now this is a single rooms hotel. It's called A Room for London. Now it's got its own website, so check it out. Now it's quite a gimmick. It's very cheap. It's only going to cost you and a friend a hundred pounds. You can only stay in there for one night. Of course you must be quick. We looked on the internet this morning and they are booked up until mid-November. A room for London. The Royal Festival Hall alongside it, the only building, left over the Fest of Great Britain of 1951. Home for the London Philharmonic Orchestra. And the last bridge we come to is the Charing Cross Railway Bridge. Now it has come a little bit of an old custom. They do say if you get anybody to wave at you off the bridge, it is said to bring you many years of luck. So how are we feeling? Sociable? So raise your hand, give me a little beat, mate. Come on, give us a wave, you miserable git. <laughs> are you waving? Yes. There's another one. There we go, lovely. It's far too cool there. Mobile phone, a lot. There we go, lovely little fan out there. Lovely little girl, hello there. Uh, now of course if they don't wave back, they're obviously from London and they're miserable like the rest of us. To the left we've got the London Eye. Now the London Eye is Europe's largest observation wheel. It stands at 135 metres tall. It consists of 32 individual glass capsules or pots. They each represent a borough in London. The wheel continuously rotates at one mile per hour, getting on and off the wheel as it continuously spins. Now if you're interested in taking a ride on the London Eye, you can do so. It's going to cost you about £19. It'll take you as little as 35 minutes, so it's quite expensive. Again, there's a lot of stuff going on here in London. At 9 o'clock again tonight, they're going to light the wheel up, another firework display, Every night uh, in the Olympic Games, uh, these are going to have a different light show all on the, uh, the London Eye. When it gets dark here in London, folks, London is a whole different place. It's a, a real hive of, uh, of activity. Now, to the right, we've got the white buildings with the green roofs, the Ministry of Defence. This is also no 